I am a product of all hardships, flawed, imperfect, and full of limitations. As Joe described his first years in medical school, his journey was filled with events in his life that caused things to reroute from his primary destination. Find out how he was able to take that opportunity to still become better, knowing that he might be losing his most valued dream to become a doctor. Hi guys! Welcome, Welcome back to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. I'm Sander. And I'm Earl. Your medical students from... Ilo Ilo City. Um, today, guys, for our vlog, we have a very special guest, a graduate of Central Philippine University and currently a PGI of West Visaya State University Medical Center. He will share to us his experiences, how how his medical school journey was, and his journey today as a PGI. Please welcome no other than Joher Mendez Jr. Hi, Doc. Hello, good evening everyone, especially to your subscribers. Yay! <laughs> hey. um, this would be a casual talk lang no? regarding your experiences. Kasi daw na touch kami of your story na nakita naman online. Yeah. On how you got the scholarship, how did you surpass med school, kag ang mga experience mo throughout your med school journey get. Amo gito. Um, we have the first question is who is Joher before? Before he graduated med school. If I am to describe myself actually, I am really a person who've been through a lot of um, obstacle, no, losses, and also was able to come up better from all those um, negativities. Um, I lost my key person, which is my mother. Um, I almost um, was not able to finish medical school because of financial constraints and family issues. But then again, I think I am a person who was able to transcend above all those limitations, imperfections. No? And uh, at the end of the day, I must say that I am I am a product of, of all the hardships um, that life was able to throw at me. Muna siya. Ah, muna ako. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Grab it. Question. So, next question, Doc. What changes did you go through, Doc, in med school? Well, actually, medical school is really very tough, no? You will experience a lot of good and bad. Uh, you will experience the good and bad side of medical school. Um, the good side is that you will feel excited. You will feel the energy flowing into your system given that you are going to handle life in the future. That uh, at the end of the day, you're going to, to change a life. You're going to touch a heart. And that, you're, and that what you learn in the four walls of the classroom and in the realm of the hospital will really make a big difference and impact to the world. Um, Medical school will also test your character. It will tell you that you are not perfect, you are flawed, and you have limitations. But uh, when you experience those uh, obstacles, when you face a lot of trials no, in medical school, especially in the hospital, you will come out better, stronger, and uh, you will just be surprised nga na kaya mo and uh, when you almost told yourself na uh, you're going to quit na hindi mo na kaya na suku pa na then there you are you are already a graduate living the dream pursuing what your heart desires and of course living the mission that God wants you to become I mean medical school uh, in medical school no you will uh, you will fail in the sense that uh, not only in examinations 
you will fail people whom at the beginning believed in you. You will lose some friends, but there will be people that will stay because they accept uh, the person that you are, no matter how crippled, no matter how imperfect, no matter how how bad you are as a person. Because uh, when you believe that uh, in everything that you do, and you believe that you can change for the better, and that you learn from your mistakes, you can be somebody that that you envision to become. I mean, you will be surprised na hindi ka man, hindi ka ganito noon, pero ganito ka na ngayon. So, I think also that's one of the things that the pandemic taught me, no? Uh, it provided me with an avenue to reflect on myself, what um, things I could have done better, what things I can improve, and what things I can share. Because there's this world is... Uh, the world is our oyster, you know? So you should not limit yourself from all the sitbacks, from all the pitfalls, from all the, the things that transpired in your past. Because you have the opportunity to correct them, you have the opportunity to be better, and you have the opportunity to make a people, uh, a, a life of a person more fruitful. And I think that's what medical school taught me. That's what CPU taught me. That's what my friends taught me. That you will never carry any rank or any any pre- the prestige that comes with you being on doing good when it comes to the academic side. Uh, medical school taught me that what matters most is you know yourself. You correct yourself. And you learn from those mistakes. Muna siya. <laughs> grabe! Puno <laughs> wisdom. Puno grabe, no? Really relatable, get sa yung mga pag-state, sa yung mga words. Uh-huh. It's really heartfelt. We really could feel it. How how passionate you are to continue your dreams, no? To become a doctor. And finally, you're a PGI na. So, yeah. grabe. Lapit na lang din. Uh, lapit na lang din. <laughs> so, uh, how are you able to manage med school, doc? And what are your coping mechanisms? Your after exam getaway or whatsoever? I mean, medical school in general, no, it was really very hard, especially when I was in first year. It was actually second sem when my family told me that the business is um, experiencing a lot of losses. So I also need to adjust with my lifestyle. So, uh, it was hard, definitely. But uh, at the end of the day, when you have people you can count on, ang muna itong hambal ko, wala nga, uh, miski ano mo pa, miski sino ka pa, may mga tao gin nga magapalangga sa imo. That's how we say it in Ilonggo, no? There will be people that will really accept and love the person that you are, no matter um, how how crippling you are as a person, and I think uh, medic, uh, medical school was a bit um, more bearable because of those people. Um, shout out to to the people no who helped sa akon and who were my friends in medical school. Um, when you have that support system, the going gets better instead of tougher. Um, you cannot do it alone. Just surround yourself with people that will also support you, that will tell you, "Nga kaya mo na, nga hindi maggive up, kag na inchindihan ka." Because no matter how passionate you are, there will be moments nga the candle, the flame, that um, push you to become the uh, that push you to study well. No, there will be times nga magatay kina siya. So there will be people, your family, your friends, no, and significant others that will remind you of your purpose. That it's okay to cry, it's okay to fail, and uh, it's okay to to experience all the hardships because life is not 
all about being happy all the time. And I think um, that pushed me through to surviving medical school. Um, may mga pastime ang ko, no? So, like for example, to kakapoy na din mag-study, you know how difficult it is to balance all uh, quizzes in one day, especially in our curriculum, no? In CPU. So, I would go and eat out. I would uh, go to my favorite coffee shop and the I'm just blessed that that coffee shop also would provide me with free coffee every time makita ako nila ng stress. So, ako nang ginaguro, uh, the people that you surround yourself with would really matter. So, mugi na siya. Yes, I agree with you nung sa you need people, Gidea, for you to survive med school. So, yes. So, nung regarding your Um, your losses, your during your med school journey, what kept you going? What kept you going? It, really, it was really my mom, actually. Uh, may mga times get this ka girl nung nga daw, uh, hindi mo nagagal kaya. Um, you will really feel na you are not enough, especially kung may mga hell week kita, no? sa medical school, mapuli lang gitna ako sa Capiz. I would just go to Capiz over the weekend and then I would visit my mom's um, crib in the cemetery and then I would talk to her. I would ask strength sa iya because I know that she's my guardian angel and uh, no matter how hard it is, I know nga Pachagan ko, I can feel her presence. She's there, pushing me forward. Gahutik lang na siya sa ako. I would just like, uh, I would just always tell her, "Ma, pabacha ka lang sa ako, ma. Kung kaya ko pa, please um, be there for me, because she's been there since elementary, no, high school, and then college until she passed away. Uh, and also, uh, my lola. I would talk to her. Balan ko lang si Lola nga. Uh, the business will be okay soon. That all will be all right in time, no? That uh, ang kwarta makita na siya. Pero um, the sense of family and community, uh, the connectedness that you share with your family is uh, irreplaceable. So mo na siya. Uh, losses. Um, in medical school, you will lose friends as well. You will experience misunderstandings. You will experience some. Um, will experience bad things as to what is happening in your life in the classroom. But I think what the classroom or my batch taught me is that. Uh, You can be better as a person. You can trend, uh, you can rise above you know, the things that uh, limits you to become better. All you need to do is just recognize them, and then after recognizing them, um, you you try to reflect on what did wrong, what can you do better, so that next time it would happen. Uh, The outcome will be different. The outcome will be more fruitful because the medical journey, especially, is uh, it will really take a toll in our sanity. Um, you will experience depression. You will experience anxiety. You will experience a lot of moments of self-doubt, kana lang din. And then you will you'll find yourself stoic. Luto lala ka nilang. You're facing tulunan mo no. Ano ba ako nagrapon? Do permit ka nalang to boast for? Um, gatoon ka man, no? Pero, God is just so amazing that He will really find ways to pull you through. Uligan ka ginag And that, uh, when you're getting humble ko, no? I have my guardian angel and I think it was really my mom who was the champion of this journey together with God. Because I know that without her presence, her spiritual presence, no? I am nothing now, and 
I am not even feeling ko I am not even a postgraduate intern no, if not for her um, guidance and the silent motivation. Oh, have you no words? A heartfelt get tanan tanan. Um, no, regarding your um, regarding what happened to your family, kag sa imong um business, um, y- uh, we've heard that you had a scholarship. So how did you manage to get a scholarship from Palawan, knowing that you're from Capiz? Um, 